Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be going over our March forecast for 2019. Before I get started with this video, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like content like this video that you are watching. I do monthly forecasts, weekly forecasts, seasonal forecasts, and forecasts for specific storms and events as well. So if you are interested in that type of content or this type of content that you're watching right now, please hit that subscribe button as my videos will continue to pop up in your subscription box so you can always uh, notice when we upload a video, it'll always pop up in there for you. Now, we're going to be going over our March forecast here, and we're looking at the temperature forecast and I want to go over this we can see that there's some colder temperatures there for the west we're gonna work our way uh, west to east we're gonna start with California and Nevada here we have slightly below average temperatures now we've kind of seen this trend of t at least towards the tail end of winter here of colder in the west and the trend looks to continue that's typically how these things go they slowly slowly transition away uh, so we usually don't see a jump to something else within a month so this will look quite similar to February because it most likely will be quite similar to February now we see California again in Nevada in that slightly below average temperatures uh, but a lot of those regions don't have a color uh, that's where we have equal chances this can really go either way I used to say average, but typically an area won't receive average conditions. Typically, you will either see above or below average conditions, and that's usually the case. So this is really just chances of below average or above average. That's kind of how you have to look at it. Oregon, Washington, Idaho as well in that slightly below average temperature region, as well as Montana, portions of Montana. Uh, and then we work our way down to Wyoming, Colorado. Uh, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Iowa, and Minnesota. And within those states that I just named, because I kind of just made a circle around uh, some other states, uh, Kansas, Nebraska, the Dakotas, that's where we're going to see that more moderate chance at below average conditions in that, in that more medium shade of blue, right where it says below average. That's where we're expecting the coldest of conditions. Now we're going to work our way east, and this is where we're going to be seeing above average conditions along the eastern seaboard and the east coast and the, and the gulf coast as well. Uh, in, in these lighter shades of orange from Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, northern Georgia, northern South Carolina, western North Carolina, western Virginia, West Virginia, Western Maryland, Pennsylvania, Northern New Jersey, as well as all of New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. That's where we're going to be experiencing some slightly above average uh, temperatures, and, and it's not going to be too hot. I think a lot of these areas will flip-flop a lot, and it's going to average out above average. Uh, but we work our way southeast, and that's where we see the more medi medium shade. Again, this is where we will see the more moderate moderately above average conditions florida southern alabama southern georgia most of south carolina eastern north carolina eastern virginia uh, dc maryland delaware and southern new jersey as well as philadelphia in there that's where we're going to see the more above average temperatures and this is going to be quite consistent i think after the after the first half of uh the month is over at least that's when we will see the, the definitely uh, an, a decrease in the cold temperatures and a lot more warmth i think after the 15th now we're gonna move on to our precipitation forecast and you can see there's a lot going on here again I'm gonna break it down west to east California Nevada portions of Arizona and Oregon as well that's where we're gonna see a slight chance at above average precipitation I think the storminess will continue for these areas there's been a lot of storms moving onshore for California and I think we'll see some of that in March as well now notice New Mexico Oklahoma and Texas we're gonna see slightly below average precipitation I really just don't think a lot of storms will track through this area and a lot of the models, the CFS especially, is trending towards this type of solution. So I'm definitely a believer in that. I think that we will see slightly below average temperatures, or sorry, precipitation for this area. Now, Louisiana up through Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, uh, the mountain, the Smoky Mountains, portions of Virginia, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. That's where we're going to see slightly above average precipitation. Uh, you'll, you'll notice a little bit of an increase in rain, but nothing should be too drastic. But east of you, that's where we're expecting the real above average precipitation. Florida, coastal Georgia, and southern Georgia as well. Most of eastern South Carolina, eastern North Carolina, eastern Virginia, eastern West Virginia, all of Maryland, D.C., Delaware, New Jersey, most of Pennsylvania, most of New York as well, and then all of Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. We're all going to be experiencing above average precipitation, and it should be quite stormy, uh, a lot like what we've seen in the later portions of February. We'll continue into March. Where I think this is going to be a frequent storm track, and we'll see a lot of rain move its way in, and I think for a lot of those northern portions that have been seeing snow throughout the winter, 
uh, interior New York, interior Vermont, Maine, and New Hampshire. I think those are a lot of the areas that will continue to see snow uh, with these storm tracks. Now we're going to move on to our overall forecast. This one's my favorite, and it, 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 it surely is the prettiest, as you can see. It's, it's very, very colorful. Uh, and I'm going to work my way west to east. Continued storminess for California, Nevada, Arizona, and Oregon. This is where, again, I said I expect a lot of the storms to track onshore south of Oregon into California. We've seen a lot of this lately in February. That's going to move its way over into Nevada and Arizona as well and affect you guys with some precipitation. Also, the Southern Rockies, I think, should be active as far as snowfall goes, at least during the first half of March. I think that we will see a lot of storms uh, move in through these areas and bring you a lot of snow there. So skiing should be premium for you guys. Now, in all the gray areas, there's a lot of that in the northwestern United States and the south central United States. That's where I kind of think there's not going to be anything that's too... Uh, too special going on with the weather. It should be quite typical, the the conditions that you should see. Uh, the purple region here, that's where we expect cold shots to continue at least during the first half of the month. Uh, and I think that there's a good chance that this will taper off during the second half. There's also a pretty good chance that we continue to see the troughs uh, dig down east of Montana into the Dakotas, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Illinois. You have a red section down here. That's where I think there's the best severe weather potential this month. This doesn't mean that there will be any severe weather events. Again, uh, it's just potential. That means that there will be a few setups that I think will look good at least. And usually that means that there should be a few events, a few severe weather events where we'll see slight or to enhanced or even moderate chances. And we've seen this area get one a good little outbreak here. Uh, I, th I think it was a week ago or something like that where we had a moderate risk and that was a that was a decent event. So I think that th that could be the area that gets affected by severe weather the most uh, to continue into March. Now we have a little yellow section here uh, east of those regions that is an inconsistent pattern. I think that we'll see a lot of cold and we'll see a lot of warmth as well and it's really going to average out for you guys but it's going to be flip-flopping all over the place. Uh, it could be wet at times, could be dry. I think this is going to be very inconsistent area. Michigan, south into Indiana, Illinois, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania. I think that all of us will see a very inconsistent pattern. Now, warm and stormy for the southeastern United States into the mid-Atlantic in this green region. Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, east, eastern Tennessee, eastern Kentucky, eastern West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, Maryland, D.C., Delaware, southern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York City and Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island, and eastern Massachusetts. We're all going to see those warmer conditions and quite stormy, mostly rain for you guys. I think the northern region obviously will have a chance of snow. Uh, I, I'm not really expecting it by, by any means, but uh, we certainly will have storminess in in the form of rain at least. And we're going to move on to our last but not least uh, northeast and New England region. Uh, this is where I expect winter storms to continue. You've been the highlight this winter. You've been getting the most snow this winter out of anybody in the eastern United States. And I expect that to continue through the month of March. I've seen it in the models. They're showing storms to continue tracking just south of you guys and bring snowy conditions, at least for upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And I expect that to continue at least through the first half of the month, uh, if not through the end of the month. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you do enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I do this once a month, and I also do weekly forecasts, which are quite similar, and seasonal forecasts. If you haven't seen it already, I would recommend checking out my spring forecast. That's going to be for March, April, May all combined. So if you're interested in that, I would highly recommend it. I'll put a sticker on the top right uh, that you can click, and that'll take you to that video if you are interested. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next video as well.